So we're coming from a franchise that has no wins ever about anything. Yep. And that whole thing. That is why mm -hmm. I think I took it a little differently. Like, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. But Lions fans, their tweets to me, keep them coming. Because we're live on Monday. Yeah. Definitely. And I assume you guys are going to win. You guys are a team of destiny right now. <laughs> That's right. Okay, I assume you will. And all will be good. We'll be lucky to talk about the playoff bond. Same old, old lions. lions. That'll be fun. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if not. And if they win, him doing everything else that he was had to do. Not By the way, this is not MCDC turning us down. No, right. No. A lot of people saying, oh, MCDC didn't want to come on your show. Sorry about it or whatever. It's like, I don't even think MCDC knew that we asked. Right. right. There's no way. There's no I way. Low hanging fruit. fruit. Uh, that's Pat McAfee. Seems real hurt about it. It's, it's weird, man. First and foremost, what up, though? Welcome back to Wolverine Everweights Live on WolverSports.com. I'm your boy, Easy, joined by my man, Spin More Racks. What up, though? We've got young Chris in the TV move. Chris, put the camera on you real quick. Okay. Just oh yeah, there. I see it. I see no, no, it. I, no, I, no, I no, 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 I want the people to see. I want the people to see. This is not the headphones did the. the yeah, yeah, the yeah, hair. yeah. yeah. JB Smooth's in the booth. And you said this is the best I could do with my hair. It's the best we've seen. It. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's kind of like Pat McAfee's. Oh my God. Which, like you said, what what are we doing, Pat? You're supposed to be like the cool guy. Maybe it's you're playing too much into like a wrestling heel role. I know he's a big like WWE guy, but yeah. like. Bro, you, they said no because he was busy. Yeah. And you're you're whining like a little bit. Pat, I emailed you to come on my show, <laughs> and you didn't even respond to me, brother. Like, what are we doing? Yeah. It, it's there. D, 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 Dan Campbell, as the head coach, his first time being a head coach outside of like an interim head coach, mm -hmm. uh, is on the verge of making his first playoff berth. Uh, this is the youngest team in the NFL playing their first primetime game of the season yeah. with the playoffs on the line against uh, you know a, a two-time Super Bowl MVP I'm sorry two-time maybe three times four-time time. four time MVP in Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. a Super Bowl champion a Super Bowl MVP too like he's busy bud yeah. he's prepping for the biggest game of his life as head coach and like he said, it's a, it, he said it wasn't Dan Campbell that turned him down. It was the Lions organization. And it wasn't that they said no. It was how they said no because they said, no, he's, uh, he's already very busy. Happy New Year. And he's getting real butt hurt about it. I don't understand why. It's like, sorry, Pat, you don't get everything you want, man. I know you're the, the YouTube darling, the media sensation. I like your stuff. I like your show a lot. But sometimes you don't get what you want. You don't got to act like a spoiled kid about it. You really don't. You don't got to throw shots and go back to saying the same old lions because your butt hurt, they turned you down, man. It's it's all right. Your show's going to be fine. You're going to do great things still. FanDuel's still cutting you checks. It's all right, Pat. No need to get butt hurt about it, buddy. I just don't get it. And that, if, I, if I'm not, I could be mistaken. It sounded like they read out like the statement verbatim at a certain yeah. point. And there was there was nothing like it was the only, yeah it's not like the <laughs> the Detroit Lions were like ah oh, eat shit Pat McAfee we're not doing anything for you. they he, they said he was he's very busy he has a lot of already you know things that he's doing Happy New Year and yeah. Pat was mad because they didn't say like you know oh we can't get to it we'll reschedule sometime next week it's, that's not their job to reschedule an interview for your show if like, you want him again reach out again next week that's what happens man. You get yeah. turned down sometimes. Get over it. Not a big deal at all. Yeah. And I guess like one of the reasons he said it, like he was upset, is because they don't typically sh like shoot their shots. But like, you really sound like the guy who asked out the ugly girl at school to the dance because you, you waited too long. Like you literally asked him today, by the way. Like you, you admitted it yourself. Yeah. You waited too long. You asked out the ugly girl to the dance, and she said she told you no. And now you're mad about it. And now you're trashing her. But you you look. I'm not trying to trash Pat because I, I do. I like, like Pat. Said, I do like a lot. Pat. I like but Pat. This is, this is weird. I like I like Evan Foxy, Foxy a lot. I like the Foxy disappointed me too. Why is he just letting him trash like Foxy, Campbell I mean, like that? Is, he didn't trash Campbell. He trashed the and Lions then he's like, organization. Well, he's like, well, Campbell you know, did an interview today on, on you know some radio station. Yeah, that's the flagship radio station of yeah. the Detroit Lions. They, they have scheduled do that like every single week. Like Aaron Rodgers has a scheduled interview on Pat yeah. McAfee every week, like he had today. That's what. Dan Campbell has with that radio station is a scheduled interview every week. So it's, I'm, I don't know. It's like I said, I like Pat. I like the show. It's a great show. But man, he's seeming he getting coming off a little spoiled. 
emotional damage. Facts. Straight up. Facts. Yeah, he's got he's his feelings going hurt. For a, a fan base has never won nothing. Keep calling me a bitch. Keep doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'll keep coming there. at me on Twitter. We'll be here Monday. Yeah. Quit acting like a bitch then, and you won't get called a bitch. Literally. Yeah. It, it, it is very weird behavior by a guy who typically seems cool. He has a level head in his shoulders. I don't. He, he sounded a little sick today. Maybe he's. I don't, I don't. I really don't know what it is. I don't know. It's, but it makes me want the Lions to win so much more. Yeah. Now. It's just keep hating. Keep hating. Keep down. And 100%. they're they're saying like they're the only show nationally. He, yeah. he did say like outside of mm-hmm. Detroit that talks about the yes, Lions. I'm glad you brought that on up. a regular basis. It's mm-hmm. like, I don't know if you haven't been watching yeah. any other Everybody. media show. They've yeah. all been talking. Scott Van Pelt talks about the Lions a lot. Well, he was Mina th- Kimes and obviously Darren Orlovsky. They talk about the Lions a lot. Like, it's, yeah. I understand. No, I'm very, very happy to see Pat McPhee and them bring you know the Lions into the national spotlight. Bring them, yeah. give them a lot of shine. Rightfully so for what they've been doing. But you know, it's not. They're on hard knocks, man. It's like. like the national media knows about the Lions now. Yeah, I think he was referring to, like, at points before they were the media darling. But yeah. even then, as somebody who, like, does this, like, we, we work within the space. Um, before I was even, like, on stage, my first, like, kind of foot in the door to, like, prove myself to Woodward was uh, maintain the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. I helped take it from, from, like, 2000 to, I think it was, like, 26, 27 when I, when I stopped. And I know, like, I look at the numbers across the board because you, you want to copy the leaders, like, in the industry. Pat McAfee is, the I'd say, the leader in digital oh, for uh, sure. like sports media. In terms of, like, sure. what we're trying to do, like, in front of a mic every day for, like, two or three hours, Detroit Lions do numbers. Mm-hmm. And especially if you're an outlet like Pat McAfee, we, like, kudos to him, you are the only one. But you, you're obviously doing it again because it did numbers. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're literally clipping your Lions segments, you know? And, like... It, you kind of like you just like to be funny too, so obviously it's easy to make fun of the Lions. But like, yeah, don't pretend like it was like as a favor. You know what I'm saying like yeah. Lions fans do numbers. We show out. We've been sold out the past two games. I mean, you hear it. Dan Campbell talked about it this week, and after they whooped the Chicago Bears' ass, man, we love those fans. You're not gonna do anything if it's not benefiting your show. You're not gonna go yeah. up there and talk about stuff that doesn't do numbers. And you're right, the Lions do 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 numbers. <laughs> do you? But it's <laughs> it's very. I don't know. It, it might be a bit. It might be a thing to rile up, to get more interactions, to get more clips. But he, he did seem a little a little salty about it. A little salty about it. And like I said, you know, this is this is hate week as Michigan and, and Ohio State. This is yeah. hate week for the Detroit Lions. 100%. Against Aaron Rodgers' dumbass and the Green Bay Packers. This is hate week. I hate the Packers more than I hate any other professional franchise in all of sports. I hate the Packers. Hey, I hey, hey, hate hey. Aaron Rodgers. And I want to see James Houston and Aiden Hutchinson behead Aaron Rodgers on Lambeau Field and carry him through the streets of Green Bay. It, it's like like, oh, like Conor McGregor, McGregor yeah, said. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to cut your head off your head out and, and carry you through the streets of Rio de Janeiro. And they're going to declare it a national fucking holiday. It's, it's such like, a bar, dude. Like, that's what I want out of this defense. That's what I want out of this game. I want, even if Seattle wins, I want the Lions to go in there and take the soul out of Aaron Rodgers and his playoff aspirations. That's what I want. It's hate week. Aaron Rodgers, the Green Bay Packers, they could suck my Oh, I don't care about come any on. of them. I don't care about their fans. I don't care about Jesse's the listening. team. I don't care about any of them. Give me Aaron Rodgers with the playoffs on the line. I want to see the defense go crazy. I do want to see the defense go crazy. And, and that being said, very nervous. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> yo, I know. I'm, yeah, it's still like yeah. as much as I hate the guy, I respect him for the caliber of quarterback that he is and what he can do and what he has done to the Lions for the majority of his career. So very nervous. But this is what you want. This is what you want. This is where you want to see your young team, your young head coach, your young assistant coaches tested at the biggest stage of your NFL season. Yeah. And and another point that you made too, like, you know, we were back there because I didn't know that Aaron Rodgers, like, Tuesday was a thing today, you know? And so we hit the the Twitter sphere. Twitter sphere is starting to work as, like, a a search engine now, too, which is pretty dope. But we type in Aaron Rodgers to see if he's on Pat McAfee and Spinning Hour back there. And there's some nasty highlights, man. <laughs> but, like, from the past two weeks, it made me a little bit nervous, so. What just happened? Pat McAfee did apologize on Twitter, which is also, like, I don't think he has to apologize. Pat McAfee apologized on he, Twitter? He wrote, like, a whole. It's because the heavies, baby. He wrote, like, a whole 
letter. That's about, that influence, baby. That's Detroit. Do you want me to read it? It's three letters long. Uh, three letters? Was it A, B, C? Yeah. It's, I'll read it. I am sorry. In lead-up to the biggest rivalry season game, the Lions recent history, I was hoping to showcase the brand new Lions our last time and our audience. Oh, one last time and our audience. As Aaron alluded in today's convo, the Lions are the main event of Week 18 with potentially a playoff berth on the line against the Packers on Sunday Night Football. Our show loves the Detroit Lions. Love. Check the tape. Always rooting for the Lions. We took pride in the fact that we that we talk about the Lions rather regularly. We always tried to spin it in a fashion as if we were rooting for the Lions because we genuinely were. Their Lions fans, their fans were fantastic to interact with. The Red Wings stink, but that's he's a he's a Penguins yeah. fan. The Red Wings stink, but ne- that's neither here nor there. I thought we had built up a good enough relationship with the Lions to put in a request for MCDC to stop by any time, any day. And since we rarely, although MCDC was on very recently, we rarely reach out to anybody ever. That's why we have regular returning folks, friends of the program. I hate asking people to come onto the show. It's a part of the business, but there's so much that I don't like about it. Like it takes time out of people's days to come on our show. And when you're asking them to come on, they're probably not going to be able to do something they'd like to be doing. I forgot about what brief with that briefly. I forgot about that briefly while I made up my mind that I was offended by them saying we pass. He has stuff already scheduled. This is the NFL. They have the biggest game of the year coming up. This obviously the they obviously don't want to take up any more of MCDC's time. Big game. This would be epic if the Lions were able to accomplish this. They have ex-players coaching, they have underdog spirit, and they are in the hunt right now still. I love it. I felt offended by the situation. I talked some shit about the situation. It wasn't needed. I apologize for doing that. I also... I'd also like to apologize for adding more negativity bullshit into the world. We have a great... We have a great time of the year for football coming up, and I would like to be an additive to folks enjoying it i was acting like a baby back spoiled bitch in that clip (laughs) i watched back to me earlier that ain't me in the current spirit of perspective i felt obligated to say this to foxy the lions and the lions pr cheers and happy new years wow that's right bitch yeah we we will beat your ass up (laughs) Who Shout out to Pat Twitter. McAfee. Shout out to Pat McAfee. I didn't think he... Uh, he was bombed, though. He, I don't think he needed to apologize no, for anything. Do no, do it. No, do what you I do. know. Apologize. I, I'm not talking about do the, the trash talk. I'm, I like the apology more. Apologize. Because I, I didn't want to beef with apologize. Pat. Apologize. I'm not beefing with Pat. I wasn't no. mad at him. He was acting like... You weren't beefing with Pat because you were scared. No. I'm beefing with Pat. You, I'm just kidding, Pat, now. But yeah, before no, I was like... He was right. He was know? acting like a little spoiled bitch in the clip. He was acting like sure. a bitch, yeah. But... I, I don't think you need to apologize for something like that. It, well, I was shut up and take the upset apology. Upset about it. Don't tell somebody that's more of a bitch move to apologize. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> shout out to Pat McAfee. He's, he, that's why he's the best in the business. Dude, maybe you scared Eminem was going to drop a diss song on his ass. No, no, no way. Nobody's scared of that. Time. <laughs> me. It's Com- 2023. Nobody's scared of that. He converted MGK to rock. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, he killed the dying career. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah that one was done. Lace up. But no, good for good for <laughs> McAfee to to apologize. Apologize. 